Hello my soccer universe, it's time to take out the second shirt from uh, this parcel. I'm gonna save best for last, but in a way this is, uh, while I does this team that I'm taking out now, i uh, show you the little parcel here, is not under my traditional favorite teams from Germany. Uh, it has definitely grown over me a whole lot to the point where I actually thought I really need a second jersey of this team. So this is a doubling up uh, and you know me being at the moment in the Bundesliga buying mode. First jersey of the parcel of course was this wonderful Schalke jersey back there uh, wearing Hertha. Uh, this one here uh, the story is I really wanted to have a white jersey from this team. Um, and ideally would have been the one from the previous season, the uh, uh, 2021 season. However, I decided to get the home jersey back then and now they're playing in white uh, at home. And so yeah, I was look, looking around for a white jersey and you almost can guess probably which team it is. It is of course, and I'll show you, it's a little bit too wrinkled, I will have to let me take care of it. Of course it is. And this is a humongous shirt. <laughs> I have to say, I knew it is a triple XL, but it is really, but you know, I think it will fit me fine. It is of course Eintracht Frankfurt. Now, I honestly, I don't know the season, but I think I want to say around 2010. I have to check that one and maybe uh, leave a, a line below. It has a QR code. So this needs to be, it's maybe a little bit uh, sooner, uh, maybe a little bit more recent. Uh, German 3XL, UK triple uh, XL, EU 3XL. Uh, it is an, a nominal away jersey, but since Frankfurt is playing this season in white, I, got, I, I went for it. This is also brand new with tags, which is actually nice. It's a rare Yako shirt in my collection, which I also is nice. And while at first it looks rather plain, I think for a Yako shirt, because you always have the feeling that Yako shirts, especially when they come, when they're a little bit older, that they look a bit cheap. Uh, I have to say um, that design here is not that bad. I actually really like the red here on the sleeve cuffs to give a little bit away the colors. I also want to have a Frankfurt jersey where the crest is actually in red, which has not been for a long time, but the actually Frankfurt crest is, is in red, although they have been wearing it in black as of late. Uh, many uh, jerseys only have it in black, so I'm very happy to have one in red. Um, as I said, I really would have liked the one that came with the home jersey with the nice shirt collar from Nike that they then used actually. They won the Europa League finally. And this is one of all, one, one, one of those. I was, I knew that this is the away jersey is the better jersey. However, I actually wanted to have a red and black Frankfurt jersey. And I, after I thought, yeah, this is a really nice design. So I said, okay, we'll get this one. Um, would have loved to have the other one too, but you know, not much loss. Yeah, this was one of those. If I would have gotten that, <laughs> would have been really, really nice. But you know, I have this one now and I have to say, I really like the pinstriping. And I just saw it has an additional effect that you have Eintracht Frankfurt written within the pinstriping, which I think is really, really nice. I also like the sponsor better. Kronbacher is a beer. Uh, that makes it definitely look nicer. Um, and I have to say the, the black and the white, I think it's overall actually a really nice, uh, nicely and well done jersey. It's also a Yako jersey where there's only one of the Yako logos because they typically have it all over the sleeve and on the back. It's rather plain. What surprises me is how heavy this shirt is. It almost feels like a cotton shirt, honestly. But, um, uh, it's, it, it is of course not, but, um, it's 100% polyester, but it feels it has it has the weight of a cotton shirt. So this is a very 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 sturdy look. Uh, if you see here on the inside collar, it says that it, it has the old um, 90s logo a little bit. If you know that one, the eagle from Eintracht, uh, like from the 90s on the back, it says SG, which is Spielgemeinschaft Eintracht, which is actually their uh, abbreviation. So they all said we are SGE, uh, which is something that I think not many in the English speaking world would know. Now I also see a very interesting feature with how the uh, pinstripes go onto the sleeves. <laughs> interesting. So if you wear here, uh, it goes a little bit, but especially on the back, 
uh, this day this way. So a very interesting color construction. Uh, I even like the uh, side paneling here. It's an interesting shirt. I definitely, and I'm happy to have a white Eintracht jersey. I actually have to say, this one surprises me. This is way better than I expected it to be. This is way better than I expected it to be. So uh, very pleased with that. This is now my go-to Eintracht jersey for this season in anyways, because they will be playing in white. So let me know what you think about this jersey. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this, because the third unpacking from this box is coming next week. It's really best for last. This is an awesome jersey. The Schalke jersey is awesome, but I think the last one, um, I would have to say, is probably the best one in there. That's at least how I feel it. Any case, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you actually might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the little bell icon so that you get notified whenever happens something in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.